Let's get a new dog. Oh! Can't get a new dog. Whoa, hi. Okay, so the enemies are very susceptible to kiting, which is good. You render a three-minute video. I ren render about... Uh, gosh, how many videos? Like, I usually render my... Try and render my videos five to thirty times. Uh, or not five to thirty times. I try and render them in batches of five to thirty. Anything less than that is usually not worth my time. Aww. Uh, Obviously, I can't always do that, but still. To be honest, I don't know how you handle that level of scale. You're really good about chopping things up quickly when you do what I do. And I do barely any, any editing, so it actually makes it really easy. Like, I've, I've been playing for about 35 minutes, so actually, after this little dungeon is done, we're going to, uh, I'll just hit the cut button. Uh, I'll, I'll just cycle my recording. And that'll just be episode one of Minecraft Dungeons for me. And if I'm feeling actually professional, I'll bother to do an outro. Uh, ooh, pickaxe. Is, I'm assuming that's a... Is it a weapon or is it a... It is a weapon. Hmm. A little bit more damage. What are the chains? It's okay. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna bust those up and go from there. Wow. My dog is 50% uh, arrows, but that's okay. Yeah, 10 hours on 7 minutes of video. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I've i tried editing stuff like that. Unfortunately, for me, I guess I'm, I'm a bit too much of a traditionalist, so I really like the largely uncut Let's Play series, because... I don't know. It's... It's one of those where I could edit it down into specific parts. But the time... costs... differential there? I don't know. Uh, I'd have to, like, switch my entire channel over to that specific com content style. Whoops! To make, make that specifically valuable. Okay. We got creepers coming around the corner. There's a level. I rolled towards him. That's dumb. But it did kill everything else, so I guess it I guess it's a plus. Thank you, sort of friend creeper. Can I, can I like that? The answer is no. So many creeps. Did I lose my dog again? I don't know if I did. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> Come, dog. We must put more arrows in you. Oh. It makes me feel like a monster. I am a monster, but, like, I don't like feeling like it. Okay. I, I am actually having a good time here. It's still kind of basic. Like, I, I would say if you like the look of this game but you want something a little deeper, go Grim Dawn. But as far as, like, a just basic comfort food Diablo-style game, it's same far off of exactly what I'd be looking for. Because, yeah, super basic. But just fun enough. Also, thank you for the raid, Cryoris. And thank you for sending this to me. Because I, I, I'm having a good time. I don't think I'll be able to get Shell to play this with me. But that's okay. I don't think it's really her kind of game to begin with. She needs a... Well, I guess it does have a story. It's just a very, like, kiddish story. Whoops. 
Stay the heck away from that. Hello, yes, I bring Bob. Have fun. Oh, shoot. Get back there. Get back to Bob. Well, all right, fine. Go back the other way for a second. There's a couple of rooms I haven't been in. Just because. Oh, that's a nice thing. It has local co-op and it's drop-in and drop-out. Cool. So maybe, maybe I'll... Maybe I will attempt to convince. I mean, biggest thing for me is the fact that it's, uh... Biggest for me thing for me is the fact that it has native controller support right out the gate. Most Diablo likes don't, and it sucks. Because playing a Diablo like with a controller is actually really comfortable. I don't really like clicking that much. It's just a little too hard on me. Uh, not so much anymore, but yeah. What? That's not what I was aiming at. Ow. Stay away from the creepers. I wonder if I could become bomb-proof. Probably not. I doubt it's a thing. One of them had an update containing all the stuff from dungeons in the normal game. I... I'm with you. If... If normal Minecraft had half of these RPG features, I would be super down with playing more Minecraft. Like, I, I'd actually go adventuring. I mean, shit, if they, uh, actually, that would be, that'd be something I, I would really want, is not just the features, but if they could actually... If they could actually, uh, port over these dungeons, too. Like, just the layouts. Because I, I would love it if I was just walking around in Minecraft, I saw like a door, and it led to a dungeon that looked like this, and not one of the standard, like, Minecraft dungeons. Because I'm, I am just not big on standard Minecraft dungeons. They're boring, and claustrophobic. Almost needlessly so. And so, yeah, having, uh, having dungeons like this would be kind of rad. Oh, I'm sorry. I, okay. My poor dog is just creeper bait. I was really hoping I could throw one of those at a time. I just exploded my dog. I... I'd apologize. But it's fine. It'll be back in like a minute. I do- I really like the fact that creepers will actually friendly fire e each other. I mean, I guess that's how it works in the base game, but it's kind of satisfying here, and it's like, ah, just desserts! I didn't. I guess I did, did get one of them. Nope. That won't hit anybody. Hit the dog back! going. Oh, geez. So there's a whole big upper area. All right. I guess we'll go back. Oh, do I run faster? I do run faster when I have my, uh, my dodge up. I didn't know about that. See, roguelike is a dungeons mod that does just that. I mean, yeah, but like... It would be lovely to see that in vanilla Minecraft. Mainly just because, like, there's only so many mods that you can stack on a game before it starts becoming unstable. And I'd love to see better level design in the native game. Uh, for the...
Uh, let's see, for the... For just exploration and whatnot. Because the overworld always looks so nice. But then you get into the actual, like... Whoops, well, that didn't work. Then you get into the actual, like, underground, and it's just kind of messy. Let's see, what new gear do I have? Still kind of basic tier stuff. I could try for it, but... I'll only switch it out if it looks like it's a new immediate upgrade. Because I don't want to be stopping to check my gear every, like, five minutes. Between levels seems like the best possible situation. Wow! That works. Excuse me. So the zombies hit pretty dang hard. Guess it makes sense. And we get... It's just a regular sword. Okay. Doesn't look like we've got anything else exciting there. Let's see, blame Notch for that. Or Microsoft took over, nothing new got interested in the game. Or, nothing new got added to the game. I think it's because, for Notch, Minecraft was an experiment. It was a fun little side project that did way too well. And kind of took over his life. Sure, it made him a shit ton of money, but... Notch was not... Notch is a... How would I describe him? Notch is, would I say a Game Jam developer, a Ludum Dare developer? He is a beta developer. He does, he does, or he used to do decent designs and then kind of abandon them and leave them for somebody else to work on. He's definitely a weirdo. And honestly, I, I, I unfollowed him on Twitter a long time ago. He's not really a developer. Yeah, I guess. I, it's just his focus always seemed to be on prototypes and very rarely on actually like bringing something to proper completion. And I can understand and respect that, but I also can say like it's a very good thing Microsoft bought Minecraft. At least compared to him being in in charge. And not just a person is a complete ass. I remember when everybody was kind of cheering for him, uh, you know, just speaking harsh truths on Twitter. But, like, I feel like the guy could have been... I don't know. Maybe maybe I have too many, uh... Too many expectations of what I would, ha what I would do if I was, like, mad wealthy. But, like, finding out the guy just bought, like, a, a giant stupid mansion in... Oh, here we go. Like, a ridiculous mansion up in, uh... Or down, down in, uh... Was it Hollywood? Beverly Hills? Like... What a waste. Dude could have been using, like, half that money as, like, some kind of crazy indie in incubator and just trying to constantly... create new... Well, expand Minecraft, but also, like, create new Minecrafts. Because that would have been... Not easy. But with that level of money, why not? I don't know. He outbid Jay-Z for that house. Why? I, I don't know. I feel like if I had that, that amount of money, I would probably just sit on it forever. What kind of equipment is this? Oh, it's Archer's Armor. Extra move speed aura. An extra health, but no extra ammo. What are the enchantments? Reduces the cooldown time between your artifacts. Fire trail when rolling. Or a little bit of health regain. Huh. These are tough.
do I have any better bows? I do. Because we need to we need to go for the one that does the most amount of damage. This thing this thing is starting to get kind of crappy. Uh, let's see. I guess I should probably check what the enchantments are. Fire five arrows at once. Deal more damage to enchanted enemies. Firing a shot also fires a second shot in nearby enemy. Second shot is reduced damage. Ooh, I like that. Bonus shot. That sounds fun. Let's go for that. It's not a great bow. That works great. So it triggers my, uh... It triggers my skill. Have fun, creeper bait. I feel like that's gonna be the name of my dog. I feel guilty. But that's what it is. Whoops. There he goes! Goodbye, creeper bait. You entered this world like you exited it. Explosively. And... Not quite as fruitfully as I think you would have hoped for. Creeper bait. Crate for short. Yeah. Might actually have to draw a thumbnail for this. Just me and my extremely burnt looking dog. <laughs> but yeah, nice part is I get to fire multiple um multiple arrows. Good for forestalling creepers coming in. Also amazing if I want to fire uh, two fireworks simultaneously. I think I'll go into my armor and reduce cooldowns when I get the, the levels for it. But no, I I'm really digging the uh the enchanting enchantment system in this this like the enchantments for this are what? Oh, that's like a hood coming off of me and it's like what kind of dumb mullet do I have where I just have like a lot of extra hair just coming off the top of my head, but no, it's a hood. I'm paying attention. Come here, crate. This dungeon is huge. Well, it's supposed to be like a full level, so I kind of understand it. It's officially a mullet. But it's like the worst kind of mullet. Maybe? I don't know. What's, what's worse? A mullet or a mullet that comes off the top of your head for some ungodly reason. How do we how do we get through here? Maybe I have to do the boss fight first. It's a reverse pompadour. Oh gosh. Okay. Heard another door. Did we get this one? Finally. Have fun over there. Do whatever you're doing. Rompador. <laughs> oh, gosh. Have fun with fireworks. It's effective. I like it. Minecraft man bun. Rompador mind bun. Oh, gosh. I hate these names. They're so gross. I come from mullet country. Originally. Not anymore. Uh, but like, they're definitely, I definitely have relatives that lived the mullet life and still do to a lesser degree. And so like, I've always seen mullets as kind of offensive. Whoops. Mainly just because like, I don't, I don't, I don't want those memories. I don't want, I don't honestly want those relatives that much. <laughs> uh... And so, like, anytime I see somebody unapologetically with a mullet, I'm like, you, I, you, it's, it's like, uh, oh gosh, what it would be. It's like a trait in a Fallout game, where you just, like, it's, it's like born redneck. You think mullets are cool, minus 20 to intelligence. And wisdom. And, like, whatever the benefits are, they suck. They're, te they're honestly terrible. So I'm looking forward to that in Wasteland. Wasteland had some neat looking perks.
Freaking bonus arrow is great. I need more of this. Is that Tiger King? I actually haven't seen Tiger King yet. I know a lot of people were like talking about it for a while, but I just, I can't bring myself to watch that. Because something about it just makes me deeply sad. I wonder if bonus arrows activates on multi-shot arrows. I'm kind of hoping so. Unfortunately, we've got to get a higher tier bow so I have a uh, second... Uh, so we have a second uh, enchantment slot. There we go. I can word. Oh, it actually wants me to go this way. Or maybe it just wants me to check multiple of these. I have no idea. I want to see a crossbow in this game. Hmm. Yeah, I can see it. A greater weapon variety would be kind of neat where they actually have different patterns. Like a, a bigger kind of greatsword-y thing. Oh, this... This conclusively looks like the uh, Lost Tome that we're supposed to go for, so we should probably go back. Holy shit, that water looks real nice. It's all sparkly and stuff. In the area that Carol Baskin resides in. The strip club is on the show is seen on Tiger King. There's a sign now. That is... I get it. It's sad. I feel like... I guess it's important to have an identity. I just feel like your identity should never be as seen on this extremely set. Uh, I, I'm assuming it's depressing because it's it's about a guy that was like collecting tigers, and I I honestly kind of refuse to watch it just because like I don't I don't I don't want to glorify that lifestyle. Oops. Even though I realize this, like me watching it does not glorify it in the slightest. But like by acknowledging it exists, it makes it real. Freaking creeper bait. Absolute king. Put a clip reel to my team's channel. Owner of the channel is German. Now YouTube is German. Help. Uh, good luck. Auf Wiedersehen. I believe in you. Time to uh, start brushing up on your German, I guess. Oh, this is the way out. I think. I see. Well, I would have had to come down here anyway. Let's see. No accepted the potato spreads. <laughs> Hello! Enjoy fireworks. Ar they managed to make archery in this game pretty great. It's speaking of uh, Google translating to the grammar's a mess now, I, I've i started doing some more sponsored streams uh, just because I guess developers have started reaching out more for games that I actually give a shit about. You know, not Raid Shadow Le Legends, but like Aratus, which I think I will be playing on Thursday, which I'm really excited for. Uh, oh my gosh! Okay. Uh, I think these guys have just been progressively spawning more and more. Because I went past that tome, maybe? Or something? I'm not entirely clear. Or is that it? Alright, we're good. Oh, but we got a chest out of that. Cool. Well, we get stuff. Gimme. Alright. And I think we're done. Yeah, we're definitely done. Alright, uh, let's see. But so, I've been doing more sponsored content, which I'm very pleased about just because, like, I don't know, validation. And it's very nice to actually do paid work that doesn't suck. Because, yeah, I'm never going to do a, a mobile, you know, ad on my channel. Unless it's for Monument Valley or some other game that I actually, like, truly support. But I've also been getting more emails asking me to do sponsored videos on the weirdest shit. Where are we? Leave Crypt? What? I guess we're back in the forest. Die, sheep. 
I am gonna operate it. No, there's still critters out here. Oh. Well, we should probably just leave. Yeah, Monument Valley got a sequel. Yep, a while ago. I, li I liked both of them. I just don't really record mobile games, so it's kind of hard for me to record them to begin with. Um, let's see, what was I going to say? Right. But so, I got an email earlier today from somebody that wanted... Oh, gosh. I should almost read it out loud. Uh, but... They wanted me to promote their Amazon dropshipping service? Or was it a dropshipping service? It was like... No, it was Chinese knockoffs. The dropshipping... The dropshippers keep stealing my shirts. That's the difference. Sorry. Uh... That's the difference. Anyway, uh... Yeah, it happened again, for those of you that followed that last time. I need creeper bait. Get him, creeper bait. Uh, let's see. But, uh, so the, I got an email earlier today in, it wasn't broken English. It was very clear that they had either used Google Translate or, like, copy and pasted phrases from a book. Because it was the most confusing shit ever. And it took me forever to figure out what was going on. And I'm pretty sure they wanted me to, like, advertise their... Oh, gosh. It was like they do sales on Amazon for Chinese knockoff versions. I mean, it might not have been Chinese knockoffs now that I'm thinking about it. Just knockoff products that were being sold on Amazon. But, like, they didn't even bother to figure out what gender I was, so they just used, like, he, she, and... Uh, like... They would use gender pronouns, but both, always. And it was just really confusing. <laughs> and I was just like... Who are you? And why do you think this would... Uh, why, the, why do you think this would work? And the entire like business model seemed to be, I would promote their product, do all of the work, and then maybe just get a cut of the sale, which is just kind of like... I'm not really sure this is worth it. Oh, slightly longer stun duration. I guess I'll take it. It's not great. <laughs> Let's see. What are the enchantments on this one? I just want to look at them. Uh, let's see. Grows in the air, dealing extra damage to distant targets. That sounds fun. It, I Seriously, there are certain... There are roguelikes that have way less interesting upgrade patterns than this. I'd love to see more of, the, more of them take this idea and run with it. Arti activating an artifact to run faster. Rolling zaps three nearby enemies. And whenever you use a healing item, you also create random food drops. Interesting. Oh. This sword does more damage and has two enchantment slots. Yeah. I like the unique diamond sword. But, uh... Unless there's some way to upgrade it. It goes bye-bye. Okay, so if I want to enchant this again... I don't actually really need the bonus damage, necessarily. Stun, freezing, sharpness. Leeching, and thundering. Go for the leeching, just because. Oh, and each each one of these only... Uh. Each one of these changes the cost, okay. Makes sense. Uh, let's do the reduced cooldown. It's not bad. All right, so we're done with both of these. We upped the difficulty, and I liked the harder difficulties. My power is 10. So I, I think I'm going to keep throwing myself into the slightly harder difficulties until we reach max difficulty and I get all the good stuff. I really like the fact that I can actually change these on the fly. That's, that's very much a Diablo thing, and it's very well handled.